Hello, everybody. Hello, Facebook group, Spiritual to Success people. Um, hello, it's, I would say, good morning. It's still morning here in Los Angeles. So today I want to chat a little bit about the power of consistency. 2017 is literally around the corner in a couple of days. And I know people start talking about their goals and what they want to achieve and what all of that needs to look like. And we have these grandiose ideas. And then we start down that path and then something gets in the way. Life gets in the way. Things start to happen and we say, oh, I'm going to do that later. Or that's going to happen later. And we stop being consistent. And when we aren't consistent in our business, it impacts everything. And frankly, if we aren't consistent with things in our life, no matter what it is, whether it's going to the gym, eating healthy, uh, meditating every morning, like it doesn't really work unless you're consistent. So for 2017, instead of having these like grandiose, like I'm going to stop, well, if you're going to stop smoking, you should still do that anyways. But if you have all these ideas about what you want 2017 to look like, really your one goal, your one thing that you should be focusing on is being consistent. Because if you can consistently do things every day, take a baby step every day towards the goal of where you want to be, then uh, you're in great shape because you're taking steps every day. When we do things one week and then we don't do it for like two weeks, it kind of, it goes to just, it doesn't work. We've all seen it. We've all done it where it just doesn't work. So we really are looking to create a pattern and patterns. They say, right, it takes 21 days, I believe it is to create a habit. So we need to create a pattern where you're consistently doing something towards your, towards your goals. So let's say your goal is to, but let's say right now in your spiritual business, you're creating income of say like a thousand dollars a month maybe it's two thousand maybe it's four thousand whatever that n number is but you probably have an income goal of you know let's call it eight thousand ten thousand where do you want to go in your business so instead of just saying i want to reach that goal and say okay next year i'm going to make i'm going to cross that six figure mark i'm going to hit it and it's begin this becomes this grandiose goal so now what we have to do is we have to back it down into smaller pieces and then Figure out what's the step that we need to do consistently to make that happen. So if you want to create a, a we'll, we'll go with an income. Let's say we're going to create like an $8,000 a month income because $8,000 is uh, the six figure of a year number, which I think many people are striving for in this group. So let's just say we are focused on that $8,000 a month. So if you're focused on that $8,000 a month, how are you going to get there? Are you going to get there selling, you know, hundred dollar packages? Probably not. That's why we had the video the other day about how to increase your pricing. But if you're going to bring in X amount of clients, well, then the idea is, well, okay, so let's go. I'm going to just use example for my spiritual biz boot camp. I have my clients setting their pricing a minimum of a thousand dollars for their package to two thousand dollars because our clients get better value when we charge more. So let's say someone has a package of two thousand dollars. And their goal is 8,000 for the month. That's only four clients to bring in. So those four clients, now we have to look at how are we going to do that? Now, if you go and say you aren't doing the full um, online thing just yet, or maybe you are, maybe you're doing a video and you're trying to bring in clients. You've built a Facebook group. You're trying to bring in clients. You've got your professional page. If you go on there every now and then, you're not going to find those four clients at the $2,000 price tag to bring you $8,000 for the month. So you really want to um, find a consistent thing that you're going to do that's going to find you those four clients. Is that consistent thing, um, let's see, it could be doing a video twice a week or three times a week. It could be um, emailing your people you know, once a week with really good information. It could be blogging. If you're blogging every week, um, one of my clients, I think you guys heard me talk about this. He wasn't blogging. He started consistently blogging and then he got awarded. He was um, acknowledged as one of the top 50 spiritual bloggers because he was consistent in what he was doing is something he had never done before. So when you're consistent, people see you, they recognize you, and then they connect with you. And that's how you're going to find those clients. So a lot of you always say, well, I can't, I can't find my clients. I'm doing this and I'm doing that and it's not really happening. So I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Are you consistently doing the things that you need to do 
to find the clients that you're looking for. That is key. So you have to be able to look at yourself, and it's, this is always the tough thing because we are all 100% responsible for what we do. So you are 100% responsible for your business right now. So if your spiritual business is not where you want it to be, it's because of you. There's no other reason why, right? We all create our reality. So if your business isn't where you want to be, you cannot look outside and say, well, it's because those clients didn't do this or those people don't want to pay or those people don't have the value, don't see the value of what I do. You have to look inside and be like, what am I doing to prevent those people from seeing me the way I do? And what am I doing to sabotage myself a little bit? If you aren't being consistent in what you do to bring in clients and really get out there with your message, then that's the problem. It all comes back to being consistent. So for your New Year's resolution, which I'm not really a big fan of, but we'll, we'll go for it. If you're going to do a New Year's resolution, it should be about being consistent. That should be the one thing. And if you're doing your morning meditations, you know what? Ask for consistency. I, my thing is clarity and consistency. If you can get clarity in what you got to do and you can be consistent with it, you will change your life. So that's my little chat for today. If you guys have questions, you can pop them in. I actually am using a new little broadcast um, thing that you guys are seeing. So I see there's six of you. I can't actually see who it is, though. But if you want to put comments and stuff, I can actually answer questions, um, Q&A type style. Um, I will answer this question. So I had um, Patty uh, actually had sent me a message talking about this charging more. Because I sent out an email this morning, um, and you guys have seen the video from a day ago, about how do you handle increasing your prices? So this video is posted in the group under video, so you guys can go check it out. Um, but when you're looking at increasing pricing, and then here's the big thing. If you haven't been charging at all, first of all, you don't have a spiritual business, right? You just have a hobby, just saying. So if you um, now have people that you want to start charging, right, and you're looking and you've been used to not charging, so that when someone comes to you, you start to feel bad, this feeling bad about charging and that needs to, um, Hey Lane, there we go. Yeah. See, I can see your comments. Fantastic. So you guys can put everything in there and I will, uh, I will answer you. So, um, yes, great consistency is a great thing to aim for. We have it. That's kind of the solution to a lot of things. If you guys think about anything in your life, in your business, even your personal life, your relationships, if you are consistent with certain things, it will totally change your life. Totally. If you consistently wake up and give your significant other a hug, if you consistently wake up and, and, you know, pet the dog, like what are the things you can consistently do in your life that really change your life? So consistency is amazing, but I do want to answer Patty's question. So, um, she was nervous about charging someone. So Patty's like an incredible uh, medium. And so she received a message in about a missing person. And it's a, there's a lot of detail, but she was a little uncomfortable about charging. But here's the thing, Patty. This is your gift that you were given for a reason. And there's no reason for you to be struggling. That's, there's an energy exchange. When you're doing this without an energy exchange, then things get out of balance. So the universe wants everything to be in balance. So when we're out of balance, things get all wonky. And so there you are, Patty. Cool. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so I'm going to answer your question. So, so, you, so you don't want things to get wonky. And even though it might feel a little uncomfortable, that's just you. So you're going to have to see the value of what you provide, the solution. And if you think about this, if you can help them find a missing person or get a family clarity about something that's really been holding them back, they would really pay any amount of money for that information. So now I know there are times when we're dealing with people where we're like, there's a specific situation where they really can't their abundance is they're, they're acting from a scarcity mode. And those are personal decisions that we all have to make about that. Now, I find that when you aren't charging, that um, they just don't get the same results. Now, things would be a little bit different for you, Patty, because of what it is that you do. But the value of it will definitely be impacted a bit, I think. Like, if you just came to them with information and said, I have this, they might actually kind of ignore you and be like, okay, like, whatever. But if they knew what you had and what you could do and that people paid you and that they could see that, well, if people are paying her X amount, she must be really good. But if she's not 
earning that money, if she's not getting that financial abundance in, then they uh, they might go, well, is she really that good? Does she really know what she's talking about? So, um, so think about that, Patty, as you're doing these interactions. And I always say, you know, make um, a business out of the people that can afford you. And then when you have that abundance financially, of course, you guys all know I'm about giving back. Like you've got to, whatever you bring in, you should be giving at least 10% back out. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's amazing when you do it. And um, so you bring in that abundance. And then when you, then you can pick who you're going to help and who you're going to serve and how you're going to serve and what you're going to give for free. But don't, you know, don't build a business around people that can't afford what you do. But remember, Patty, like the frankly, if the more you charge, the more amazing they will see you and you have an incredible gift. So you need to really step it up with the pricing because they're not going to see what you do as valuable as it truly is um, because you really aren't charging. So I'm just I'm just saying. So let me see. I got another comment in here that I missed. Hi, Victoria. Um, yep. Consistency is hard. So you cannot see so yeah, and the allowing life. So she says that, you know, allowing life to get in the way it's, it becomes, um, 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 it's, it's so easy to allow life to get in the way, isn't it? It's just, um, it's the easy way out because we can make an excuse as to why we didn't do something. So really being inconsistent is, is an excuse for failure. I'm going to say it. That's kind of harsh, but that's really just what came to me. And it's kind of true because if we are consistent in what we're doing, there actually is no failure because you're going to get to your goal no matter what. If you are consistent in what you're doing, and sometimes there's setbacks. I mean, especially when you're creating a spiritual business, not everything's going to work right away. You've got to be able to be consistent and figure it out and say, okay, I'm going to I'm going to step back and evaluate something. And um, one of my clients right now, he's got an irresistible offer that's out there that is doing fine, but it could be better. So we're, you know, we're going to stop, take a look, fix it, and then move forward. But if we um, allow the daily things to get in the way, it's just, that's just our excuse for failure. So when you aren't consistent, you say, oh, well, this happened. So um, I did, wasn't able to do it. So I, you know, this happened, this thing happened in my family. So I wasn't able to, you know, go meet that client or go to that networking event or, or get, do my video online. Something always gets in the way. And it's really just the excuse for failure because when we're consistent in what we're doing, um, we really can't fail. It's just, it's being able to stop and look at stuff and get, okay, let's do the next step. Let's do the next step. Let's do the next step. And so as far as tips, you know, um, I personally have a, a planner that I use every morning. It's called the Panda Planner. And all my clients, when they work with me, get one because it's really awesome. And um, and in there, there's there's a way to, like, every morning, write out what your um, daily habit is. So, hey, Victoria, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Victoria. Yep. And so write out your daily habit and just know what that is. And you are 100% responsible for you again. So the only tip I can say is be committed to yourself and be committed to your goal because it's up to you. You have to make time and you have to be willing to say to other people or the situations that I'm not going to let that impact me. So I have a, a saying that I always say is that your emergency is not my emergency. And um, I really stick with that, especially when I'm working with clients or even family, like they call in a panic and we pick up the phone and what's going on and, and their emergency now becomes my emergency. And I just don't do that. And so um, in fact, I almost never actually pick up the phone on, on a first call because someone will leave a message and then they usually figure out the issue and then they call me back and then there's no need for anyone to be upset because they um, they figured it out. In fact, I just had a situation like that this morning that kind of occurred. It's like someone called in a panic. Oh, it's a panic. And then it was nothing. And it's like, wow, we got all wild, wired up for absolutely nothing. So we cannot let that stuff come into our life. We have to just say, I am more important and my, my goals are more important than all the nonsense that's happening around me. So as far as the daily tip, you just need to be in alignment with you. And you have to see the value of what you're doing. So if your goal is to start your spiritual business and or your goal is to go from your $2,000 a month to $8,000 a month, it's like, well, how are you going to get there? And what's the thing that's going to consistently 
get you there. If you do it consistently, what will get you there? And that's, you just kind of break it down and you can put sticky notes. Um, again, I use my Panda Planner, but I put the little note in there and I mark it every day. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> and I mark it every day so that uh, I can see on my calendar when I miss a day. And then I can ask myself, why did I miss a day? And my phone's ringing for no apparent reason. I totally forgot to turn it off. Anyways, <laughs> so there you guys go. I hope that helps. So we've covered all sorts of things. Consistency is the key. Patty, don't forget about your value and what you do. And you really want people to see how amazing you are. And uh, they won't see that if you aren't charging, guys. If you aren't charging, they're going to think, you know, was, uh, Sandy talked about, uh, yes, it, well, in your website, I think, Patty, you're asking about updating your website with, like, pricing. So I'm not a fan of having pricing up there. So thank you, Victoria. So I'm, I'm just not a fan because, um, I don't know, people judge before they do anything. They don't know anything about you if they just hop on your website. And I don't, you know, I don't think I've ever seen anyone just show up on someone's website and buy something without having the um, relationship of a client, for, you know, to really just relationship between two people before they do that purchase. So like you and I, we all have a relationship. I communicate with you guys. We're in the Facebook group. I'm, I have a relationship with you, but you wouldn't have just seen something from me, clicked on it and, and purchased something without having some sort of communication. So I'm not a fan of having your pricing and stuff on a website because they're not going to just go click and pay with PayPal. That's, that's not how it happens. So um, I do charge just wondering about missing. Oh, but in the miss, see the missing people. So that's, let me read your whole, um, do, 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 do. Patty, I'm going to let you, I'm going to read your whole thing here. So, um, updating websites to get most of my business on Facebook, just trying to think of an irresistible offer, uh, which I did make, but not sure if it's irresistible enough. Irresistible offers are, um, let me answer your missing person's question first, Patty, and then I will answer your, um, irresistible offer question. So for the missing people, I mean, that's a tough one. And maybe that's something where you just kind of need to sit with source and know what you're supposed to do in that situation. I know it's tough because I know you get information all the time about various situations. Um, if I guess if you're approaching them with the situation, then that might be a little different because it's not like I have some information and then um, now you have to pay me. So that, that might be a little uncomfortable unless someone if someone's coming to you and it's a still a missing person, they're coming to you because they're seeing the value of what you do. But I guess if you had the information and you says, well, I have information, but I'm not going to share it with you unless you pay me, that might feel a little uncomfortable. So I think you really just have to sit with it and know on a situation by situation basis um, where that, what to do with that. And that is a tough one because I know you get information all the time from various sources that are, you know, that you need to share. So it, it might be a tough one. So I don't know if I have the best answer for you there, Patty, but I hope maybe that kind of helps. But um, for your irresistible offer, you guys, yeah, if you guys have an irresistible offer, um, like Patty said, she didn't know if it was irresistible enough. For your irresistible offer, it needs to be really irresistible, which means it solves a problem for somebody, which also, and it also needs to be something that they want, not just what they need, this is a mistake we make. I've made it. Like, I'm like, here's what you need. But if they don't want what you think they need. They're not going to do it. So you need to make sure that you have um, something that's really irresistible, which means it's solving a major problem for them and that it's something that they actually want. And your irresistible offer should be also something that is easily consumed. So like um, something they could read and do in under half an hour. So say they read it. And they're like, oh, that's a really good tip. I'm going to go implement that tip and they can see a result from that tip. That's an irresistible offer. If you're giving them an ebook, they'll probably never read it and they won't know how amazing you are. If you're going to give them something that's like a 30 day challenge, well, it's going to take 30 days for them to know that you're awesome. And if you're trying to get people to work with you, you don't want to wait 30 days for them to know that you're awesome. So your irresistible offer should be something that's like easily consumable. So in my spiritual biz boot camp, my clients do, um, we do it like a three tips so that it's simple, it's easily consumable. They get fast results so that they know how awesome you are. And that's what the irresistible offer is all about. So I hope that helped Patty. So guys, if you don't have any other questions, I think we had some good ones here. Um, cool. 
All right, guys. Well, if we are no more questions, um, and I will actually start doing these twice a week, and I will um, can pick a consistent time, or at least announce it ahead of time, so you guys know when I'll be here, so you can ask me whatever questions that you have. So you guys have an amazing, amazing New Year. Welcome, Patty. You guys have an amazing and safe New Year, and make consistency your New Year's resolution, so that you can have an amazing life amazing spiritual business where you're out there serving thousands. So thank you for sharing your space and energy with me. And I will see you guys in 2017. Have a beautiful day. Bye guys.